Hello, fellow beer lovers. Howdy. <laughs> Welcome to Of One Mind Beer Reviews. My name is Daniel. And my name is Zeb. Today we're going to be drinking this little uh, gem that Zeb brought back from New Hampshire. Sure did. Uh, can you see it? It's Barra Irish Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. Barra Irish... Brewing, yeah, is that it? Yeah, you said it right oh. the first time. Oh, why, why am I questioning this? I don't know. You're crazy. And it's 5% uh, 5 .5 alcohol. Different. It is New Hampshire maple wheat. Mm -hmm. Sounds delicious. They're from Portsmouth, I guess. Portsmouth. Yeah. Oh, here, you won't. Although he didn't. Uh, yeah, I was in Portsmouth. And he. I, I that guy. don't recall seeing <clears throat> them there, but... You want to pour it? You I'll try. To? I don't know. I'll probably... Can you? I don't know. I'm guessing it should have a lot of foam. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Alright, I better save some for myself. Hmm. You do that. I'm doing it. The glass is really big. Yeah. Who picked the glass? You want any of the dregs here? Or yeah, what? whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Yeah, most of them. So, slightly did I, hazy. Did I say everything? I don't know. I feel like I yeah, you did. something. Slightly hazy, like light amber. Yeah. Maybe medium amber. I'd say medium amber. You know, and yeah. I'm wondering if it's if it has anything to do with maple. It's almost got a maple color. It does have kind of a maple color. Yeah. Hints. To one it. uh, one finger white head. Not as much head as I expected from a wheat beer, hmm. but not that that means anything. I don't know what that smell is. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> smell like maple. <laughs> It smells like grain. Um, like barley. Don't look at the top of my head when I'm smelling that. I smell a lot of barley. I smell the yeast. Yeah, yeah. I don't smell maple, though. I don't know. Moving on. Shlanta. Shlanta. Is there like no flavor at all? <laughs> <laughs> so you were thinking? I was thinking that exact Man. thing. I don't know how to. Did I drink even... anything just now? Say that. <laughs> what happened? That's weird. Boy, I mean, that is like the most subdued flavors I have probably ever drank in a beer. Yeah. There That's are there bizarre. are flavors there, but it's so. They're so. Some dude, Some dude. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, like, I guess, you know, finally, I guess I'm picking something up in the aftertaste, like, at the start, I get a real, real subtle, green? No, sweetness at sweetness. the start. So, I, I want to say, it's almost a little maple-y at the start, and then I get, again, all of these flavors are real subdued, so, like, some grain, and then I get some yeast at the end. And in the aftertaste, I get some maple flavor. I was gonna say I'm I'm tasting the maple in the in the end, or, yeah. you know, at the at the finish. Yeah, and into the aftertaste, I get a real little bit of sweetness at the start, and that might not be maple I'm tasting there, but I get sweetness. So that's really difficult. It's difficult to describe. I mean, it it isn't bad. It like the flavors. Are there? I just want them to be bigger. I guess you know what I mean. Yeah. You know, I get. I guess on further analysis in the middle, I'm getting a, like, like hints of citrus or something like a, mm. a fruit of some sort. It's very very subtle. In the middle, yeah. Now that you say that, mm -hmm. yeah, I get that. Hmm. Interesting. Like an orange peel. Yeah. <coughs> so. Ah, oh, man, that is a weird beer to describe. How did they do that? And I don't, I mean, I don't necessarily think that that's bad. Mm -hmm. Having, like, subdued flavors like that. Right. They use local New Hampshire maple syrup along with German wheat and Irish barley, of course. 
Nice wheat beer with a sweet aroma, it says. It says here. Hmm. I definitely I a sweet aroma. No. But I definitely get some maple flavor on the back end. Yes. Which is nice. I concur. That is a good flavor. Hmm. So in the way, 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 way back on like like the way end of the aftertaste, though, I get like some cigarette ash. Oh really? Yeah, like I just sit in here not drinking any more of it and I'm like, mm, tastes like cigarette ash. Oh, it's a downer. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this thing. I, it isn't... I'm. Mm. The flavors that are there are good. They're just not very big. I don't know what to say. Other than that cigarette ash at the way end. That's, <laughs> that's not good. Um, so, what's next? Mouthfeel? Mouthfeel? It isn't thin. No. I want to say, like... Sticky? Yeah, sticky, or, or I was thinking like yeasty. Yeasty? Is that a mouthfeel? Yeah, sure, why not? I don't know. I don't know. I think huh. yeasty would be kind of sticky. You know, whenever you touch the yeast, like when we're homebrewing, it sticks. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, drinkability? It's definitely really yeah. drinkable. It's smooth. It goes down easy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I really... See? <laughs> I really like the flavors I'm getting. I... I said it previously. I yeah, just you kind of wish they were more pronounced. I want it to be bigger so that I can appreciate it more. Hmm. But there's something to be said for nuanced flavors. Maybe nuanced is too nice. Subdued. Hmm. Well, yeah. what else? Drinkability? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I mean, it's, it's certainly it's drinkable. It's smooth. nothing offensive. Or no. Unless you said cigarette yeah, ash. Yeah, that's cigarette ash, but if you I'm just drink the whole thing at once, you'll only get that a little bit at the way end. Yeah. Hmm. Do you have a rating in mind? Uh, yes. I am giving that a 3.5. I'm also giving it a 3.5. It's right here. It's on the table. You uh, should have, like, a flashcard. 3.5. Um, yeah. Uh, the okay. flavors are good. They're just subdued. I, I can't think of a better word to describe it. Yeah, I like that. I want, I That's want, a good one. for me, I want there to be bigger flavors so I can appreciate them more, but maybe, maybe it's a little bit older bottle, I did, couldn't find a date on it, um, maybe they want that, maybe, you know, you want that, maybe that's what they were striving for, yeah. right, maybe you want that subduedness because, subduedness, yeah, subduedness, <laughs> dude, um, <laughs> because it's a lot easier to drink that way, you know, I don't know, perhaps, I'm not in the mind of that brewer, so. Anyway. Yeah, it's so, good. Yeah. I mean, I would go to this brewery if I was Absolutely. back in New Hampshire. I would get more of their stuff. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below or shoot us an email. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.